Thanks so much for joining us this half hour. Prosecutors have concluded that a deadly July 4th police shooting in Olivia, Minnesota was justified, and it means there'll be no criminal charges filed against the officer involved. There was no video evidence of the deadly early morning encounter between Olivia officer Aaron Klaus and 32-year-old Ricardo Torres. Paul Bloom is live in our newsroom with the very latest on this one. Paul? Karen and Tim, not only is there no video evidence of the shooting itself, the Bureau of Criminal Apprehension Investigation did not appear to turn up any eyewitnesses to what happened. Officer Aaron Klaus provided authorities a written statement that claimed it was absolutely a life and death decision to open fire. And today, the prosecution agreed the shooting now justified. The early morning shooting July 4th in what was a dark downtown alley in Olivia left friends and family of Ricardo Torres grief-stricken, angry, and full of questions. I don't think that this was just the cop defending himself at all. On Friday, some of those questions answered in this eight-page letter from Blue Earth County Attorney Pat McDermott, who reviewed the case for prosecutors in Renville County because of a potential conflict of interest. McDermott determined the deadly use of force by Olivia police officer Aaron Klaus to be reasonable and justified, concluding there should be no criminal charges. According to the prosecutor's findings, Officer Klaus was in the alley setting up a trail camera related to reports of vandalism and a vehicle theft from the area when Torres came through carrying a backpack as well as something in his hands that he was apparently attempting to conceal just after 2 a.m. Klaus recognized him from prior run-ins and told investigators in a written statement that he walked after Torres once Torres ignored his verbal commands to stop. At this point, Klaus claimed the 32-year-old was holding a long-barreled gun. The officer went for his service weapon when Torres reportedly said, you dropped the gun from only about three to five feet away. That's when Klaus opened fire, the whole encounter, 10 seconds or less. Arriving officers would find Torres dying on the ground, still clutching what turned out to be a crudely sawed-off 12-gauge shotgun. And according to those reports, it does not appear that Torres ever fired. Postmortem toxicology tests detected drugs in Torres' system, including methamphetamines. Additional paintball and airsoft-style guns were recovered from his backpack. A girlfriend is quoted telling off investigators afterwards that Torres appeared, quote, off that night. And she believes if not for Officer Klaus, Torres was on his way to her apartment to kill her. In the newsroom, Paul Bloom. Fox 9. All right, Paul.